Hey, my name is Russell Brunson, and I want to welcome you to my channel. Now, typically, I talk about entrepreneurs and how to scale companies, but today, I want to talk about how you can actually land your dream job, or how to get the attention of somebody you want to work with or for. It works for connecting with anybody, so use it as you will. And to explain this, I'm going to actually show you examples of people who work here at ClickFunnels today who did the things I'm going to be showing you. The man, Russell. So like I said, my name is Russell and I own a company called ClickFunnels. But when I got started, we had just three of us. Six years later, we have over 450 full-time employees, which is kind of crazy. So because of that, people are always asking me, how do I get a job with you? We've dealt with tons of applications, traditional resume drop-offs or mail-ins. We've had a lot of creepy people do a lot of super creepy stuff, all trying to get that coveted job. Now I understand there are a few that have done it right. And honestly, if you do it right, it's kind of an art form. And the ones I wanna share with you today are ones that almost any employer, uh, anyone who's awesome would appreciate and love to have you do to actually land the dream job with them. All right, number one, be a fan first. Now by fan, I don't mean stalker. There is a difference. Don't just show up at their front door. Don't send them weird gifts in the mail. Well, you can send cool gifts, just not the weird ones. It's amazing and creepy. A good example of this is Stephen Larson. Now Stephen was a huge ClickFunnels fan. He read the books, he listened to podcasts, he consumed all the information, he watched the videos. And when we did our Big Funnel Hacking Live event, he knew that this was the thing he needed to do to get in front of me to get a job. Now unfortunately for him, he didn't have the actual money he needed to fly to San Diego to get the air planes, the hotels, everything. And so what he did, I had bootstrapped my way to that first event. I had no money for it. Traded funnels for plane tickets, funnels for hotel nights. Now, what I didn't know at the time, and I wish I would have known, he didn't have enough money for a hotel room. So he actually slept in the lobby there at Funnel Hacking Live, woke up every morning, got cleaned up in the bathroom, and then came back for day number two and day number three. Now, the way that I found out about Steven, at the very end of the event, he walked over to the other ClickFunnels employees and said, I love what you guys do. He's like, how in the world can I work with you? What does that look like? And so one of the other employees said, we you should just apply it. And so Stephen went and applied. Two days later, I got a call um, from Brent Peters. We saw your resume. Do you wanna be Russell Brunson's funnel builder assistant? And I was like, you guys are gonna pay me to do this? That's ridiculous. <laughs> so I said, absolutely. That's how it started, that's how it happened. The rest is history. He spent two years working right next to me as my full-time funnel builder. And the reason why we hired him is because he was a fan first. I didn't have to go reteach him all this stuff or I have to go like convince him that our culture was right. He came in understanding those things and knowing those things, so we just had to get to work. And just so you know, you don't have to go sleep in a hotel lobby to be considered a fan. You can just simply like and comment, subscribe, share this video on your fan page. That would be just as good as well. And if you wanna work for somebody else, do the same thing for their content as well. All right, number two is showing off what you can do, not just saying what you can do. You know the old saying that says, actions speak louder than words? That's so true, especially when you're trying to land your dream job. A couple of years ago, I was looking for a full-time copywriter to work with me. At the time, I was writing all my copy. It was taking so much of my time. I had over 100 people apply to be my full-time copywriter. Now, what's crazy is from that application, I got 99 resumes sent to me. Only one person of the entire group wrote a sales letter to sell me on coming here. And the sales letter is shockingly good. So it's like, how would you come into your office each morning and tackle your most pressing copy task while learning to write just like you in the process? You're probably worried that, that you never actually can get my voice, like, which is a huge fear I have. And then, hey, you're probably too busy, train writer. Holy crap, that is another big fear I have. That's what someone actually pitched me, knew my false beliefs, knew my concerns, resolved them. Amazing. So It was amazing someone who put in the effort to actually use their craft and use their skill to sell me on why I should hire them instead of just praying that the resume would do the job for them. They should know at this point that copy sells if it's not good enough to sell them, probably not good enough to sell me. Whatever the thing is you're gonna do, do the thing and show them that you can actually do it. That goes so much further than any resume could ever dream of doing. Number three, create your own audition. Instead of creating a resume, create an audition. We hate resumes too, they are so boring. I hate them as much if not more than you do. You gotta deal with one, I've gotta deal with thousands. So instead of sending me a resume, send me your audition. If I wanna speak at a big seminar on a big stage somewhere, I don't tell them I'm a good speaker, I make a speaker reel of me speaking, and I send those so that people can actually see me doing the thing. It'll free all entrepreneurs. My initial goal is not to make you a billion dollars. My initial goal is to get you to break even. Now you have a tool that will consistently think about what your craft is, what the skill is, the thing that you want to do for the company you're looking for. Make an audition tape. That way you can show them your skill set, your personality, your character, your enthusiasm, and why you feel like you're the best person to work for them. That'll rise to the top of all the resumes as they go and they watch your audition video. One really cool example of this is Katherine Jones. Now Katherine never looked for a job for me, but she wanted to speak at Funnel Hacking Live. She wanted to get in front of our audience. 
audience. So instead of just sending me an email or sending me a tweet or a DM or something, she went and she created an entire box with multiple presentations about why she'd be an amazing speaker, an amazing presenter. She then signed up for our coaching program and went to all the events we did. And eventually she found the time when I was speaking at stage in front of a whole bunch of people where she could deliver her box. We had an objective to hand deliver to the man himself and I think Operation Dropbox. We killed it. Which stuck out, it popped in my head, I kept that with me, I traveled all the way home. When I got home, I looked at all the things inside the box, I watched all the videos. Within minutes, I knew that she was the right speaker for Funnel Hacking Live. So no matter what job you're trying to get or what client you're trying to land, send them a video. It's so much easier for them and for you. And if you wanna take it to the next level, put it in a box, put it in a package, put it on a video card, something that's gonna get their attention and stick out much more than any resume ever could. Number four, attend the best networking event. Now obviously in our industry, Funnel Hacking Live is the best, but in every industry, there's always events you can attend so you can network and get to know the key decision makers inside of any business, inside of any community. There's a huge percentage of people who work at ClickFunnels today who first went to a Funnel Hacking Live event, became part of the community, and then they had a desire to work with us to take our message out to the world, and that's how they got here. Now on top of the big events, it's also important to go to small networking events. In fact, one of my favorite stories is uh, John Parks, who is the head of the ClickFunnels Funnels advertising team. I actually met him on a family reunion and John saw me and thought, I'm gonna get that guy to join my network marketing opportunity. And he spent an hour in a boat pitching me on his opportunity. Eventually I turned the corner and I pitched him on the opportunity I was working at the time and I signed him up. He started working with me and now 15 years later, he runs the entire advertising department here at ClickFunnels. And it all started because both of us went to a small intimate networking event was a family reunion, but the concept is the same. It's finding small networking groups with the core people that you wanna work with. Another amazing story is Dave Woodward. I met Dave about 15 years ago at a little event that me and Stu McLaren put on. We told that all the attendees that they wanted to take the speakers out to lunch, they could go to the back of the room and we had sign-up sheets to take speakers out to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And Dave jumped up, ran to the back of the room, grabbed my sign-up sheet, and signed up on every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner with Dave every single day for four days and built a friendship and eventually a partnership. So what you can learn from this is even if you're introverted and shy like me, you need to go to events, find the key decision makers and figure out a way to stick out. That way when they hear your name, they're gonna know who you are ahead of time. It makes landing that dream job so much easier. Number five is just start working for the company even if you don't have a job yet. For example, find out how to become an affiliate and sell their products online. If you go and you start selling their products, it's really simple and really easy then to say, hey, I'm already selling your stuff, can I get a job? Even inside of our Two Common Club X coaching program, a lot of our coaches were people who initially were in our Facebook group just answering questions, telling people how to do what they were asking to do and then eventually like, man, you are so good at helping our customers. Can we pay you to do what you're doing right now for free? Surprisingly, most of them said yes. Another example is Noah Lenz, who's a teenager inside of our funnel hacking community. As we launched funnels, somehow he found my Voxer ID, still not sure how he did that. He would send me messages saying, hey, your funnel's pretty good, but I think I built a better version. He built an entire other funnel and then sent it to me as a gift and said, hey, you can keep using yours, but mine's better. If you want, you can use mine instead. And he did that over and over and over again until eventually I got to know Noah and then I actually had Noah speak at stage at our Two Comma Club Live Unlock the Secrets event. So the key here is to find the people who you already want to work for and and then you start working for them for free, start serving them, start helping them. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna notice you and the law of reciprocity will hit in and eventually they should offer you a job. And if they don't, maybe it's the wrong thing. Maybe you should come work for me instead, as long as you're good. Make sure you're good at what you do. Now I completely understand that going above and beyond can be scary. It's scary to make a video, it's scary to put yourself out there, but what's even scarier is not trying and then not getting the job. But I want you just to trust the process and put yourself out there and just see what happens. After you do that, please let me know in the comments down below how it worked for you, what you tried, what was your creative idea, because I'd love to hear what you did to stick out amongst all the other resumes. And with that said, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, if you haven't yet, please like this video and comment, let me know what you think about it, and also subscribe to our channel. On top of that, there's a bunch of other videos all around here. I'm talking about business, entrepreneurship, building funnels, and a whole bunch of other things I think can help. Make sure you go watch those videos as well. With that said, thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out on my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.